ABC suspending Whoopi Goldberg from The View for two weeks after these controversial comments on the Holocaust. Listen here. The Holocaust isn't about race. It's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. But it's about white supremacy. It's well, about but it's not, it's Jews, not about and, and, and race. It's it's the but these are two Romans. white groups of people. Joining us now is Jimmy Fallon, host of Fox Across America on Fox Nation. And Jimmy, just listen to the apology yeah. that she made same day. Next day. I said that the Holocaust wasn't about race. And it was instead about man's inhumanity to man. But it is indeed about race because Hitler and the Nazis considered Jews to be an inferior race. Now, words matter, and mine are no exception. I regret my comments, as I said, and I stand corrected. That no. apology not good enough yeah. for the ABC executives, they said, for a two-week suspension. Nothing spells think? sincerity like reading off a teleprompter. You can actually see her following the pros. And let me start here. Okay, as a guy who talks on the radio and as a comedian, I get paid to say stupid things for a living. But let's state the obvious. There's a huge double standard when it comes to speech on The View. Like, if Megan McCain were to have said this, not only would they have fired her during a commercial break, mm -hmm. but anybody she ever took a photo with on Instagram would have been tagged as an anti-Semite for life. And this is the problem I have, is I don't want to be the guy who cancels people. But there's a valid concern here with minimizing Jewish suffering. It comes, you know, not too far removed from the Texas Senate synagogue incident, where the FBI initially tried to tell us that their race, their religion, wasn't a motivating factor, which is laughable on its face, because if you have a lot of family in Texas, as I do, there's a church every three feet in Texas. The idea that a guy just randomly walked into a synagogue is absurd. And this is absurd, because it's not really an apology, and she's not taking ownership of what she said. Here's the co-host. Anna Navarro said, uh, this is an incredibly unfortunate incident. <laughs> Uh, Whoopi's a lifelong ally to the Jewish community. She's not an anti-Semite, period. I am sad, and I have nothing else to say. Uh, Whoopi has developed enough goodwill over time. Yeah. To survive this, I believe. Oh, I don't think she's going anywhere. I mean, I do think she's the centerpiece of the show, and she is, if you saw the Colbert taping, you know, she tried to clarify by saying that she comes through the, uh, a racial prism that makes her process this stuff from an angle maybe we don't see. You can see what I'm saying is the word salad being deployed to keep that currency, cash it in, and get her through this. I don't think she's getting fired, but I do think a lot of staffers at The View are rightfully incensed because this is a show that has called for firings, that has attacked people, for a lot less. It's interesting because you know, the, a lot of commentary on the right was that she shouldn't have been suspended. Of course. She said something stupid, we, ignorant, and she apologized. Uh -huh. um, but if you and, and I agree. Yeah. Um, and, but she'll be suspended. She'll probably feel terrible. She, we'll maybe hear a little bit more from her. Oh. Uh, but mm -hmm. remember when Sharon Osbourne yep. defended Piers Morgan mm -hmm. against a charge that he had said something racist about Meghan, Meghan Markle? Markle. They and they fired her. Sharon Osborne. Think about this. They fired Sharon Osborne for defending a comment about Meghan Markle. Now, we could disagree on the semantics of the comment. I don't think it was hateful. But this is a woman shrugging off the Holocaust. And that's the reason this, well, you shouldn't fire her, you should educate her argument falls flat with me. She knows the Holocaust. She knows better. And that's the part that drives me so crazy is that on the right, we don't want her fired. We want to live in a world where speech is just speech. But I don't think we could ever make that trade. Like we could say, all right, you get to keep Whoopi employed, but lay off us from here on in because they're not going to adhere to the terms of the ceasefire. So if you wanted to know what the real punishment should be, I think you keep her on the show because it's more harder to deal with Joy Behar five days a week than it is to be canceled. <laughs> I knew you'd make us laugh at some point. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you.